Now, this game promises Lara Croft. That it does. But will it deliver? God, I hope so. Man, she was used all over the place in ads. Looking good as half the battle. Oh, oh. yeah. Wait. Yeah, it's PlayStation official clothes. Hell yeah. Yo, to I think I've seen one triple eight, whatever the <laughs> fuck, or PlayStation.com. <laughs> I think I've seen all of these at a Goodwill. Oh my God, I want this clothes now, Austin. D d were those PlayStation sweatpants with a branded logo on the side? They sure fucking were. Uh, is that a visor? I don't know. Oh, we got a bucket hat. Yeah. Oh my God. What is that? This merch though. Okay, Parappa that's official. really good. There's a pouch. It's another you, pouch. Like, what happened to... Could you imagine nowadays, like, showing off clothing in the game? Oh, no. Wow. Win the battle, wear the threads. Hell yeah! That is the best demo so far. That was really good. Hey, would you, would you buy threads based on that demo? I would fucking mass purchase threads. <laughs> I'd buy a backup set just in case to keep them clean. I'm actually like super into those like beige cargo pants with oh, the yeah. PlayStation <laughs> logo on the butt. You actually, you see something you might be interested in? You window yeah, shopping? I need that and then also like a buttoned up shirt with flames on it and okay. a Goku. Okay, the full on um, diners diving and drives. Yeah, the demo version does not support analog mode. Analog will be in the released version. Okay, but Gran Turismo was still, like, the sickest looking cars at the time. Dude, I know, right? So, oh. barring that nonsense, I assume this will still look pretty alright. This should at least, I, I, like, GT games, I feel like they looked like one generation above they were the one they were at. You know? I know, right? But, like, not so much nowadays. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> no! Demo disc! No! disc! Not it's like fun. this! That's the end of that. Would you buy Gran Turismo? <laughs> Apparently we would. It's a gigantic huh. mega-hit franchise. That's Gran so Turismo weird. Too. Yeah. But you know what? That's okay. We got another racing game coming up. Crash Team fucking racing. The fucking good one. Oh my god. I've heard. I've heard so much about this game. You haven't this played game. this one. I have, I, like, I've heard about why people, like, that shit on Mario Kart prefer this. And I never understood because I've never played. Because there's a, there's a very violent uh, uh, subsection of Mario Kart. Everyone loves Mario Kart, but then there's a violent subsection of people that love CTR. And an even more angry subsection that love Diddy Kong Racing. See, I'm in the uh, the fourth subsection, which is like the really mellow dudes that are like Sonic, man. Sonic, Sonic All Stars Racing Transform, baby. Yeah, you say, uh, Sega. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the shit. And you get to play as Vice from Skies of Arcadia. Yes, and fly and, around, and, like... and fucking Rio from Shenmue. So I'm not even yeah. gonna hate on it completely. I understand. It, it, Ryu drives a fucking forklift, man. He does, he does. But what is it about about the feel of this game in particular? Also, do the fruits make me go faster? I don't know, but I'm going to say yes. I've actually also never played CTR. Oh. Okay, yeah. well. But that's just because, like, I don't know why. I, I never really cared for Crash Bandicoot. It's uh, kind of weird. I guess looking, we'll learn I guess. on the fly. I know, right? Did you play the other Crash games? Mm, for like seconds, honestly. I played yeah. the original Crash, like when at, at like a friend's house. I uh, one time I want to say, and like I remember just being like, Mario lets you uh, run around in a big 3D world, and this is a hallway. Why is it big just a hallway? hallway? Oh no! Um, oh, I'm fucked. Bye. You know, the, that, was all, uh, that was my thing. I remember just being like, it, I feel like you can't travel left or right. 
Yeah, and I, I felt like that was restricting too. I also think like Mario 64 is still one of the best platformers ever made. That being said, very clearly based on how popular the fucking thing is, there's got there's definitely like a childhood uh, 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 nostalgia thing going, and a lot of people. Uh, I'm sure the games got better as they went on. Oh, for sure. Because they kept making them, right? They made three, and then someone made a couple others, I guess. Because <laughs> Nod Dog was like, bye. Yeah. But no, uh, I, 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 I always, uh, I've always been an outsider to the Crash franchise, so... Well, this is, this I, is a uh, racing game. Yeah, it feels solid. There's the, This thing's getting the remake in a couple months, huh? What was the, what was the word they used? Re nitro. Nitro, yes, re something. Re nitrofied crash a vision. Yeah, this is no. You know what? That's fine. That's a fine car racer. I got no. You're only saying that because you came in first place. Yeah. I'm in third. It's miserable. <laughs> well, that's what did you get for being Doctor N? That's true. That's true. What about Mumbo no, Jumbo? The only, the only crash games I've played were uh, uh, a tiny bit of the original. Ironically, on a demo disc as well, and then the remake. I like got that platinum trophy in the first game, and then I was like, "I'm good." You know that that that's a fine demo. That's a fine kart race. Yeah. There was a gas button. There was hijinks and items. There was you goofy little mascots. I would purchase Crash Team Racing. That felt that was good. That was good. It was not bad. That demo delivered on what a demo promises to deliver. Yo, but now we got a beast. Oh, fuck, Spyro. Okay. So, I mean, I think I talked about it a little bit before, right? But it's like a lot of these, like, classic PS1 uh, franchises, these PS1 IPs that, like, established the PlayStation were all games I didn't fucking play and game because I didn't have a PlayStation 1. I just yeah. Didn't, I just didn't get any of this. So... <gasps> Two I'm levels. Absolutely on the outside of this, but I uh, uh, late to the party on all of it. But um, I you you know the names because again they fucking stuck around. Except Spyro became Skylanders, and Spyro is actually like you know only kind of getting recognition now with the re-release. Yeah, yeah. But for a while, it's like we're now the Skylanders company. Fuck you. Toys for Bob, baby. Toys for Bob. Did you know that Nintendo turned that down? Skylanders. Tech. Skylanders. They were offered that uh. for Pokemon, and they turned it down. So they just threw. They did it themselves with Spyro, and that and fucking all that money was forever lost on the table. Well, I mean, I guess that's what happens when you like make amiibos yourself. You turn down the idea, and then you do it, and you make even more money. Yeah, I guess so. Right? I guess so. But. Amiibos was like the salty run back for right. them refusing the Skylanders money, which they could have had. And with a franchise like Pokemon, like they wouldn't have had to like build up that toy headspace, you know, it would yeah. have already have been there and it would have become like the modern day beanie baby uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. collector's nuts like thing, you know, um, what's the other shit? Those are the treasure trolls. Beanie Babies, Furbies. Pogs. Pogs never... Adults never started collecting them, though. I bet there's some adults out there now. Oh, we but stuck. No, I think we're stuck again. God damn it. Well, fuck. Um, this demo disc is having a hard go. Yeah. That's, they sure don't like giving us the demos here. That's unfortunate. What's after Spyro? Ape Escape. Really another, good game. Another classic franchise. I have no idea. I've, I've, I, I'm, I'm to understand that Solid Snake is canon in this universe. <laughs> that's what I've yeah. been... Yeah, yeah right? he, I mean, he, he's in uh, uh, 2, and I think there's... There's a mode in, like, the subsistence version of Metal Gear Solid 3 that just has, like, a monkey hunt mode. Wow. You saw that big pre-alpha message? I know. This game is only pre-alpha. Um, They're like... I, I saw a cutscene. Oh, analog only, huh? Okay, hold on. We can do that. We can do that. We have those analogs. 
Okay, so you've never played an Apex game. No. I actually uh, streamed the entire first game last year. Okay. It's it's pretty solid. I saw especially cutscene, for like the time. I saw a cutscene of Snake meeting Ape Snake, yeah. and then they both agree that they will always be necessary as soldiers in the world, and then they turn their own <laughs> paths and walk away from each other. Is there a thumbs up moment? It was fucking nuts. I love that. Wow. Have you seen that? Uh, I know. It looks great for PlayStation 1, right? Yeah. Lively characters remind me of um, uh, Tron Bone and the uh, Mega Man Legends crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I'm a big fan of the, uh, like, big, colorful, low-poly look as opposed to, like, heavily textured things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, this Mega Man Legends, Final Fantasy VII, it's, like, right up my shit. Yeah, absolutely. Let's plug in an analog controller real quick. Let's do it. All right, there we go. We got the sticks. Yeah, this looks wacky. Chase these dual monkeys. Shock? And we got a, we got a, your main character looks like a Beyblader. <laughs> yeah. Capture three monkeys. Okay. <laughs> Have you played the PlayStation 1 Beyblades game? Fuck no. <laughs> it's so bad. You like, it's literally, you press a button and you just watch it happen in the game. Okay, so we got camera controls. We got sword to swing. Yeah, so all of your actions are going to be done on the right analog stick. And you want to catch all the monkeys. So you can use the sword to stun them. And then you want to switch to the uh, the net by hitting X and give them a little catchy catch. Okay. This pause screen is awesome. Isn't it? I really like that. That's very fun. A little rotating buttons. All right. It's cute. So that's the one you want to slice with your sword. I like the implication that like your health is cookies, and that the enemies are just trying to take your cookies. Oh, okay. And when you're out of cookies, you're just sad and you give up. <laughs> so I just so with those are not monkeys. Those are just motherfuckers getting. No, those are the monkeys. Yes. Oh, he's All dropping right. banana peels to. Yeah, yeah. Me up. He's trying to run away. Monkey! Oh, you fucked up. Actually. This controller sequence is, is a little odd, actually. It It's odd. You should stun him with the uh, sword, too, sometimes. Okay. Also, if you switch to the sword and just rotate the stick in circles, you'll do a little spinny spin if you, like, go fast. And you can move around like that. Uh, I can't move around when maybe I Maybe it's that? while you're moving. Maybe it's a... I'm thinking of a different weapon, maybe. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. This one, he's kind of stuck on the spot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love the way they turn around and look at you like... Like, um... Ocelot does in MGS4. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're panicking. Like, I feel <laughs> bad, but also they're like evil time traveling monkeys who are yeah. like fucking up shit. So. And to be fair, when you hit, when you do net them, they look like they die. Like if you saw your friends <laughs> disappear. Oh shit. Oh no. Okay. Rest in peace. Uh, you should only range. have one more monkey to catch. Yeah, I've never known what Ape Escape was. But, uh... It's, uh... It, this it looks, just, just looks a little, very, very cute and fun. Yeah, totally. Yeah, uh, they get better as the series goes on, apparently. I've only played the first one. Although this... This stick-based swinging, though, is... I'm not having It's a, something a you gotta get used to. Yeah, and I keep pressing X to jump, and it's switching items. I'm like, oh my god, no! My mm -hmm. brain wants the X to, to jump. I'm using like you also. You're using what? I'm using my my like like I'm I'm using what I expect of like 3D platform controls. Yeah. You got like uh, tons of other gadgets you get in the game too. Like you get like a hula hoop that you gotta spin in order to get like a running boost and stuff like that. Do you need them? Uh, yes, because the levels get, like, more complex and have, like, crazy shit go on. Okay. See? I want to see who's behind this. I hope we get another, uh, level. Look at this fucking Beyblade kid. <laughs> He's so <laughs> ready it, to, like, go out there rip. and be the best at some bullshit. 
because he never because his dad wasn't around. <laughs> every fucking dude, every one of those animes, every single one. I want to be the very everyone's best. Everyone's great because I don't have a dad. <laughs> I need to catch these monkeys to make form, make up for my sadness. Right? Yeah. Oh, turns out it's the last boss. Cool. <laughs> the final boss of the game. Let's go. All right, this is your in-between stage. Yeah, this is like you step on that platform and then you select levels. See, the good go thing safe. about this art style, right, is the fact that like, yeah, as you said, when you go for this instead of like highly textured, um, realistic, uh, games, this does not age, you know? No, no, this, this always looks, looks great. Especially if you like, uh, if you're running this on like a backwards compatible PS3 mm -hmm. or some means of like cleaning up, uh, getting some anti aliasing going, like everything looks so smooth. Yeah, yeah, like this Mega Man Legends uh, uh, 3D style is very like it, it still holds up you know absolutely mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um uh, this next device you're getting is a swimming net okay for underwater controls yep yeah i think you'll pick it up in a tiny bit no it's just there never mind swimming controls are a bit uh really convoluted but it's okay r1's gonna get you to go up i think that is convoluted <laughs> yeah <laughs> that is not clear okay despite the instructions i mean it's it's a weird way to go about it this was the game they used to sell uh the DualShock controller, right? That's why it's so DualShock, like, intense. Mm hmm Ah, uh, okay. I believe this is... I was wondering, is... I'm like, this is so, like, not what you're supposed to do to... Oh, like, yeah. ...simplify a game's controller setup, but they wanted to. They wanted you to feel the power of the DualShock. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. I see. I believe this is, like... The only game that required the Dual Shock, right? Because like it, it had support, but this was like the one game that was like you cannot play this without this controller. Well, the fact that your camera control is, which is something you normally want to adjust frequently, is on the D pad, right? It just kind of yeah. shows you like they're selling this thing super hard. And then you press R three to launch the net. Okay. Yeah, R three to launch the net's difficult. This is one of those games where like once you like sit down and like super get into the mechanics it feels good but it takes a minute okay but let's be real underwater controls are never great ever. oh no like very few things pull it off kingdom hearts 3 oh yeah okay yeah uh, i felt pretty good in kingdom hearts 3 anthem manages to do that how is anthem i have not played that well i'm not well let's not get into it but, that's fair. That's but, like a whole conversation. Uh, but uh, the swimming and the the actual um, the controls for flying as well are like yeah. I'm like yeah. You feel like you're flying. You feel like you're flying. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't see any other games besides Safe Escape that like explicitly require this controller. So I wish they made one game. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, you gotta like. Why would you do it like this? It's so. Like. It's challenging, but not in a good way. It feels convoluted for the sake of, like, the controllers. Like, yeah, it's it's not the best part of this game. You have to, like. There you go. Oh my god, dude. It's not great at all. <laughs> you no, know, look. You only need, like, 50 nets. It's fine. Alright. This is a pretty girthy demo, though. Yeah, they're giving you a feel for it. That much is clear. I mean, it's nothing on Tiny Tank, but you know. Oh my god. The legend. <laughs>